were able to go one on one a little bit today with AD. Yeah. Kind of that dynamic working between you and that just going against him going to make him better in the long run. Yeah, of course it's going to make me better. I mean, we brought him here because he's a great receiver. You know, every time I get a chance to go against him, I try to go against him and always ask him questions about when he breaks and just what he's doing at the line, down the field, how he plays against receivers. So it's going to make me better in the long run, you know? How much better is this secondary? I don't know, clearly no games have been played yet, but just yeah. from an experience standpoint and all that, how much better is the secondary than the year ago? Uh, well, experience, uh, we kind of got a young group kind of, so it's not a lot of experience, but it's some experience. And then we got people that just come together and always want to work and push each other. I feel like the competition is better in between uh, the the guys in the room. And we all know, like, we don't have to, like, fight each other for spots or nothing. We compete against each other. It's more than just fighting for a spot. It's competing against one another to make each other better. So whoever the best player is is going to play. Perfect to mention you by name as coming in and having one-on-ones with him while he's watching film. What do you get out of that? What kind of conversations do you guys have? You said who? Uh, Vontez. Oh, yeah, Vontez. You, you, yeah, 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 you come yeah. in and watch film with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know he's been in Pauly's defense and he's been a vet. So I told him I want to get with him to watch film because I want to see how he sees. It's always better to have different aspects of the game, you know. So I asked him to watch film with him. How do you like the progress of Jonathan Abram and Trayvon Mullen so far in the secondary? I love it. They, they work so hard and they're always trying to find ways to get better. And they're always just on tune. They give great effort and they play hard. Yeah, what have you been able to learn from Lamarcus so far? And how has this impact the DBs? Lamarcus, he probably got the best energy in the room. He always got high spirits, positivity, and he uh, just lifts everybody in the room. And uh, that's good to have somebody like that when you like feeling tired or anything. He always gonna lift you up, and he always play hard. Lighting, good. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, he stepped in quick and filled his role. I mean, he playing good. And then, like I said, vocal guys always lift guys around. He always going to lift you up. So he's a good player and he plays hard. Aaron, we've asked you about everybody except yourself. Yeah. How, are, how much better, how are you doing and how much better are you than the guy that in here and had the calf injury and everything that you Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm healthy now, so this is probably the first time I made it through a, a full week of training camp since I've been in the league, so that's one of the most important things for me is health right now. And yeah, I'm always growing as a player, and I feel comfortable with the system. What exactly was the injury that you were looking at? Like my rookie year? Yeah. Uh, my shin fracture, yeah, tibia. Tibia. Was there a break? Yeah. Like Aaron, so there's some analytics out there that, that said you last year were one of, the, one of the better cover corners in this league in your second year. Did you uh, did you come away thinking that, like, that you've made great strides and that you're ready to take your place near the top? Oh, yeah, for sure. I feel like I made great strides, but I feel like I can always make better strides, always looking for ways to get better. And there's always money out there left on the field, you know what I'm saying? So I just got to get better every time I can. You guys can get to the passer with you know, like Burrow and Crosby and do more things in that regard, how much better is that going to make you in terms of getting chances? Uh, I mean, it makes it a lot, a lot, way more better for us to get chances. I mean, having pressure up front and just working together as a defense, plays is going to come. As long as you got a whole defense on the same page, we're going to get plays. You're, you're looked at as the, as the number one cornerback on this team, I'm sure, not just by those of us, but by opposing teams. Do you like that label? And at times, what is the uh, responsibility of matching up against their best guy one-on-one -on -one and taking him out? Yeah, I mean, I like all pressure. Any responsibility I take on, I'm going to take it and embrace it. So if anybody wants to come in and put their best receiver up, I'm going to try to go against him and try to get better, lock him down. I know you said, Gary, on that going against Antonio is going to make you better. How exactly? Is there a way to quantify that and to say exactly how going against him is going to make you better? I mean, because he's a great receiver. He goes hard. He runs good routes. He's fast, quick, elusive. Like, what more could you ask for? You're going against the best. So I mean, he's well-rounded. He's just an all-around athlete, talent, and he go hard. So, like, a receiver that has all the talent but don't work hard, you don't get the best out of him. So he always gives you the best because he works hard and he's talented. John also, said, yeah, John also said that he wants to know what goes on under your hood because you're always wearing your hood. You want to take that off and 
tell people what's going on in there, what would you say? It probably won't happen. Won't happen. <laughs>